Hello, student. Uh, Shear force and bending moment. Uh, lecture three. Uh, already, uh, already, uh, already, we have already discussed about the shear force bending moment and already solved the simple problem on shear force and bending moment. Now, uh, today we are also uh, going to discuss in a simple problem on SFBM means shear force and bending moment diagram. Now, uh, now let's see. In simple, in simple problem, as a B and shear force and bending on diagram. Let's see here. We can see that it is a, a simple supported beam. R A and R B, the two A and is simple supported, and two point load means six kilo newton and three kilo newton are acting uh, are acting at the at a distance uh, four mm four meter from the point A. And three kilo newton load acting over the beam at a distance of two meter from point A, and the total length of the beam is six meter. How you can see that? That means distance between the D and B. What the distance between B and D equal to the four plus four, two plus two, four and six. The four six minus uh, six minus four means two meter. That means distance between the b and d is equal to 2 meter now let's see how uh, how can that draw a safety and bmd diagram now first of all we know that the total reactions of the beam is r a and r b equal to what r a plus r b equal to 3 plus 6 means 9 newton then we can easily write here r a plus r b equal to uh, 9 kilo newtons equation number one and again we find out the value of uh, this way this manner and we can easily find out the ra and rb the value now let's see how can i find out the value of r and rb that is if we take a moment from about point a then what will happen if, if we take a moment about point a means total load load in perpendicular distance means rb load a total distance means 6 meter then we can write here take a moment about point a rb into 6 then again load at a point d is 6 kilo newton is acting over a 4 meter away from point a means 6 load 6 kilo newton load into perpendicular distance means 4 meter 6 into 4 meter let's see 6 into 4 meter again minus why minus because of the sign conventions the load was downward direction that's why you, uh, that's why you have taken the negative sign then 3 kilo newton load at point c acting over it at a distance from 2 meters that's why 2 3 into 2 meters equal to total summation total load which means total moment equal to 0 that means equal to 0 then this way we can easily find out the value of rb then what is the value of rb 6 into 4 24 Minus six is minus thirty. The equation for a simple uh, it is a simple solution. Six six into R B equal to thirty. Then R B equal to thirty by uh, thirty by five is equal to five kilo newton. Then putting the value of R B in in the in the relation between the R A plus R B. R A plus R B is equal to what? Already we have discussed. R A plus R B is equal to three plus six means nine kilo newton. So putting the value of five here and uh, R A plus R B then the R B is equal to five. R equal to 9 minus R is equal to 4. Uh, 9 minus 4 is equal to 4 newton. Then, this manner we can easily find out the reactions R A and R B. Then, what is the value of R A and R B? The R A equal to the 4 kilo newton and R B is the 5 kilo newton. Now, the R B is equal to R A and R B can easily find. Now, how can, how can I find out the shear force at the different point? Uh, now for SF diagram. For SF diagram, SF at B is equal to plus 5 kilo newtons upward directions and SF at D is equal to how much? Plus 5 upward and minus 6 downward. Then summation of this plus 5 minus 6 is equal to minus, kilo, minus 1 kilo newton in downward directions. Same manner SF at C minus 1 at D and minus 3 at C. That means minus 1 and minus 3 is equal to minus 4 kilo newton. Same manner, SF at A is equal to how much? 
already uh, already we have find out it's minus 4 newton that's minus 4 newton at sf a in this manner we can easily find out the asset diagram and also we can find out the bm diagram now bm diagram now bm diagram in bm at fixed point means bm at b and bm at a is equal to how much bm at b is equal to 0 and bm at a is equal to also 0 because of the fixed point moment about any fixed point equal to 0 already uh, i have already discussed and already i have seen that in previous lectures now bm at d is equal to how much the bm at d is equal to how much bm at d that means force into distance how much force uh, left hand side of the d is equal to uh, club, uh, plus 5 kilo newton upward in distance 2 means 5 into 2 10 kilo newton into meter and, sa and same manner bm at c is equal to how much 5 into distance 4 minus 6 into 6 kilo newton at bm d into minus 2 is equal to uh, 2 that means 20 minus 12 is equal to 8 kilo newton into meters bm at c is equal to 8 kilo newtons kilo newton into meters now uh, draw the sfd and bmd diagram now let's see now here we can see that uh, we have already find out the uh, value of uh, value of sf uh, value of uh, sf now here we can see that sf at b is equal to how much in previous slide we have already seen that the sf at b is equal to plus 5 newtons then draw the plus 5 newtons in upward directions and you can take any measurement suppose it is 5 units so from point b you have draw a line by point b you draw a line as a 5 unit then that is, there is a no load between b and d so draw a uh, horizontal line up to b into d in the same uh, in the same uh, in the same uh, units after that uh, bm sf at d is equal to how much minus 1 that means downward directions then again to a downward directions then the uh, zero line after that minus 1 unit from the uh, datum line that is the sf at d then no load between the sf and c and d so this is again horizontal line c and d uh, c to d and point uh, from point c uh, point from point C again point uh, SF at C is equal to how much minus 1 minus minus 3 is equal to minus 4 newton again downward and minus 4 in your newton as your uh, as you assume your scale and minus 4 in newton direct, uh, horizontal line from point C and again no load between C, A, C, A and C and again horizontal line A to C, C A is equal to minus 4 in newton this box is called the SF diagram for in a particular loaded beam simple supported but point loaded beams in the same manner we can also find out the bm diagram also let's see what is the uh, how can i draw the bm diagram in bm diagram um, i have already previous uh, told you the first of loaded beam then after that draw the sf diagram then below the bm diagram now bm diagram we have already found out the all the value of bm in the different different point and the if you see that the previous slide the value of bm at b and is 0 because the fixed point and bm at a is equal to 0 and bm at d is equal to 10 and bm at c is equal to 8 newton now putting the value of different different now putting the value of uh, different different point for uh, uh, about the fixed point the bm is equal to 0 that point b is equal to how much bm is equal to 0 and point a also be 0 then uh, bm at d is equal to how much already find out the bm at d uh, bm at d uh, bm at d is equal to how much 10 newton suppose at point at a point at a point d is equal to in scaling 10 units then draw a perpendicular uh, draw a line from 0 to point d using a straight lines that is called the one diagram uh, bm at d again bm at c is equal to how much bm at c is equal to 8 then slide uh, slide then below uh, point d and then again draw a line from d to c is again a straight line b to d uh, d to c is equal to another line then again point c draw uh, at bm at a is equal to how much bm at a is equal to 0 then again draw a line from c to a is equal to 0 this the diagram here you can see that the image you can easily understand this box this diagram is called the bm diagram and upper is the sf diagram and sf and bm always sf diagram uh, sf and in, in when when we drawing a bm diagram 
we also about know that the in simple supported beam the beam diagram of the beam in simple supported in simple supported manners is always upwards in case of cantilever when you draw the cantilever sf dagger sfd and beam for cantilever we can see that the beam diagram always the negative means below the reference line so we can this manner we can easily draw the sfd in the shear force diagram and the bending moment diagrams uh, so understand uh, next class you see the uh, another problem for sfd and bmd thank you